Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here today to do my little packing. This is what I'm taking to my retreat video. So I'm going to be crawling around the floor, handheld here. <laughs> so please excuse the jiggles. But um, so this and these and that is what I'm taking, which I think is pretty. Um, what would you say? Pretty compact. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with myself in my packing. So, oh, first, before I get down here, um, what I wanted to show you is I make, uh, this is how I organize myself. I make myself a little list of what it is that I want to do project wise. So I have my TNs <clears throat> at the top and then I have all of my, um, different paper packs from Stamperia that I want to make nine TNs while I'm there. Probably very ambitious, but at least I'll have them started. And then for variety, I'm going to play with the four by four papers, my Edith Holden stuff, and um, finish some unfinished ephemera. And then I'm taking my slow stitch. So that's, I, that's how I kind of figure out what I want to do and then um, be able to pack the supplies that I'm needed there. And then let's flip this. And then I have um, a list of general supplies that I need, like glue and scissors and all that kind of stuff. And some things that are specific to some of the things that I want to do, like um, uh, the sewing machine because I want to sew around the, the, um, covers and everything. So, so yeah. So, and then I just, as I have it in my, um, in a bag or in one of my totes, then I check it off. So this isn't to say I won't, there won't be something that I want that I don't have, but I really actually do a pretty good job of having what I need. There is no craft store where we go on retreat, there is a quilt store. Okay, I'm down on the floor. Can you tell? <laughs> and um, so if if you don't have it and, and nobody else at the retreat has it, you're kind of out of luck. So I really do try and pack well. So I wanted to show you these first. These are little um, basket things that hang on the side of your table. See, there's the little thing to uh, put it on the edge of your table. Then this one sits like that. And this one um, clips, clips on the side. So you kind of have double area. And um, what I like to do at the retreat is pop that onto my table. And then I, um, <clears throat> I put my glues in there, my uh, distress ink, you know, things I'm going to be grabbing uh, each each and every time I craft. So, um, so there's that. And I can't tell you too much about these except that they are tonic brand. And um, if you go to my favorite things and do a search on tonic caddy, I think, I think they should come up. So, so that's what those are about. One year, all of us at the retreat ordered those. <laughs> it's That's the other thing about the retreat. It tends to be a bit of a shopping enabling sort of experience. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, that's okay. Okay, and so then this little tote is all of my, um, all of my Edith Holden stuff. And my pal, Carrie the Crafter, gifted me a bunch of um, ephemera pieces and a book and he he also gave me this cover to make a journal with which I haven't done and I'm actually going to leave that home because that is not something I'm going to work with but I'm um, going to take the rest of my Edith Holden stuff and then back here I just have a bunch of coffee dyed paper because I you know I don't know what I'll need that for but I probably will need some extra coffee dyed paper, sorry. 
um, I popped my circle punches in there because I'll be doing pockets and things. And then over on this side, kind of to hold things and as a spot for them, I put all the laces that I am planning on using um, on the edges of my traveler's notebooks. So there is that. So that's an example of something that I know I want to do these traveler's notebooks. I That's one of my projects. And um, so I needed lace. So I, I knew to, to pack that. And this little pocket, what do we have in here? Oh, this is my Tim Holtz tiny attacher and some extra staples. So that was just a good spot for it. No rhyme or reason to that. Then there's my sewing machine. Bless its little heart. You know, have sewing machine will travel. And um, and then we get over here. Maybe what I'll do before I stand up is do the front here. Um, in here, there's something I know. I'm not sure what. Oh, goodness. One-handed. Oh, <laughs> my corner punch. I knew I put something in there. That's really all I have in there. Look at all those are empty. So, um, and I try to be packed up at least two or three days before the retreat just so that as I think of things which I have as I think of things I can um sorry I'm trying to yeah. <laughs> there's my slippers <laughs> this is a very professional video um I I try and do it early because I always think of things that I've forgotten so this side of this tote is my archival ink my uh the stamps that i thought i might use and then some stickles because i might want to do some stickles on the covers of the traveler's notebooks so yeah so i just packed a few favorite stamps and packed those in here and let's see if i can turn this around or how can I do this? I can just go like this. There's there's also a pocket on the other side that I have not that I have not used. So um, so then on the inside, and this let me just show you if I can crop crop in style XXL is what this tote is called. And then I it was I gave got it from a friend, so I can't tell you what brand other than that but so at the top I have my cutter here and I thought I oh yeah and then behind there I put my tear ruler so it would be protected from breaking or anything and then down in here at the back right here is all the, the packs of stamp period that I'm using for my TNs these are all the pages that are going in the TN. So what I did is I went through, I'm making nine. I got nine avocado dyed papers and I got nine papers with ruffles. I had to make a few. I, um, I got nine coffee dyed, nine ledger, you know, whatever I was using for the, for that. So, um, so yeah, that is what all those are. There's some short ones there. This is just... Oh, this is nine um, scrap papers. This is nine um, legal sized blue dyed papers. And all of my all of my TNs are basically the same colors, pretty much uh, teal and pink. So I could kind of just go with that. Um, and then this is some some ephemera that I wanted to use up. I have my uh, eyelet punch there. This little, this little tote has glue, has scissors, has my bone folder, um, and that sort of thing. Paper clips. So it's it's just got a little bit of everything, and so I shoved that in there. These are my two book binding um, little pouches, and then in the front, I did some things that I thought I might need or might want to play with. This is book page. These are, um, these are the coffee dyed, uh, things of Rachel's, uh, 
digitals of Rachel's. There, I forget the name of them, but book pages or something. I don't know. Old book pages. And so I thought I might want to play with those. This has digitals in it for collage. I have two Tim Holtz pads, 12 by 12. And um, this is... Ugh. This is a book of music, so I'll have music pages I can use. And then these two, these two were a couple of new pads that I got at Hobby Lobby, and I just thought, well, maybe I want to play with those. Okay, now I'm not going to be able to get those back in with one hand, but there you go. And then this one, too, was one that I just got at Hobby Lobby, and I thought, eh, I might want to make some ephemera with that. I have my glue book. And I have my Tim Holtz wallpaper. So that's what's in this tote. Can't get it back in there. Do it afterward. Okay. And then in this tote, I have my ephemera box, which we worked on together um, to, to get the things in there that I wanted. Here, I'll just let me show you. Just in case you missed that video. Um... I'll just kind of open it and show you what's in there. So um, this is all ephemera that needs to be completed and, and I think will fit in the TNs. These are the collage cards that I make for my Patreon folks. I need to finish those at there. And so, and then little things to decorate with and stuff. So that's sort of the ephemera project box. I have my scoreboard. I have my big tote of um, slow stitch stuff. And this little pouch has uh, stuff for my sewing machine, thread, extra needles, that sort of thing. This little guy down here has my idea book in it. So if I'm stumped, I can, I can use that. And then, um, sorry get back down here so I have a good base, you know. <laughs> this um, this little tote has all my stuff for decorating, my ephemera. So it has my ephemera books. So this is the flower and mushroom one. This is the butterfly and um, bird. <clears throat> and then we put this one together with some other little various things. This is my Italian book for pages. This is my um, a jewel design stuff. So I have lots of words there. This is a Tracy Fox uh, labels. And this is porch swing designs. There's flowers and butterflies and stuff in there. Um, and then down in this corner is some fabric that I thought would go with my um with my journals so um there is that and then um oh this bag here is um already finished ephemera that i thought might work in my tns so it's stuff that i had in my already finished box and um that way you know it's just that much quicker to make my journals this is a bag of lace that I thought would go. Oh, and these are um, these are little snippety things. Oopsie. These are little uh, snippety things from uh, Journey of Crafting that I thought I might want for embellishing. So this is kind of the embellishment bag. And then my Tim Holtz people. Got to have them. And then I got a couple of new washi tapes from Tim Holtz that I didn't have that um, I thought would be good too. So that is, that is it. That is what I have uh, for the retreat. And um, then of course I'll have all the food to pack and my bedding. They provide sheets and pillows and you have to provide your bedding. So um they, and, and then the sheets too, but you have to have a quilt and, uh, you know, if you want your own pillow, that kind of stuff. 
So yeah, so that's it. So um, this is going to air on Thursday and I will have left on Wednesday. So if I forgot something, you don't need to tell me because I would have already figured it out. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that, that is it. Uh, this is a quick video for this Thursday, but I, I did want to show you the end of what it is that I'm, that I'm taking and, and kind of how I, how I pack with my lists and stuff. So I hope you all have a great time. I'm going to check in with you every day, but just quickly. So have, have a wonderful day and a grateful day. And we'll just see you when I get back. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.